Hey, this is Janet Jackson with another tip for those of you who have ever sat in your office or have recently sat in your office and thought there has got to be a better way. So has this been annoying you? I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in a date that is in the future at the time of this recording. I'm in Excel. I've entered this date. I'm going to copy this date. And all of a sudden, Excel, or it's really Windows, Windows thinks, hey, that's a date, and it's not in the past. So you must want to use your Outlook calendar with this. Um, no, I don't. I'm just entering a date. I can't remember if this feature came with Windows 11 or in a recent update. I feel like it was a recent update. Um, so maybe if you're not on Windows 11, you're not fighting this. If you haven't received that update, you're not fighting this yet. I promise at some point you will need to know this tip. So just tuck it away if you're not currently um, frustrated by it. Anyway, I've been annoyed by it for too long. In a recent workshop, someone asked me about it, so I decided to finally make this public service announcement of sorts. If you don't want Windows to prompt you when copying a date in Excel or anywhere, Word, Outlook, anywhere that you're copying dates, here's how to stop it. What we're going to do is we are going to go to, um, it's called our clipboard settings, and you can go to settings, start menu, settings, system and then scroll down here to clipboard or you can do it the quick way and you can just use your search your search tool and type in clipboard and as you start typing it's going to think hey do you want to go to clipboard settings i'm going to say yes and then it takes me right there to system clipboard and here's where we want to turn that feature off it's called suggested actions it says get suggestions for actions when you copy a date time or phone number so I have also seen it when I've got a string of numbers they don't even have to really look like a phone number but if I've got a string of numbers uh, I'll get a little pop-up there as well so if you don't want those things just turn this to off and now when I'm in Excel or Word or anywhere and I put in today's date I'm sorry, not today's date, but a, you know, a future date and copy it. I don't get, I don't get the extra. I don't get the suggested action. So that makes me very happy because I, I, when I'm entering dates in Word or Excel, that's not when I'm going to be working in my Outlook calendar. So if for some reason you're seeing this and you're like, yeah, but I like it a lot of the times, just how do I get rid of it some of the time? Let me turn that back on. And if I put in that date, if I put in a future date and copy it, and I get that, what I find pop annoying pop up, I just have to hit escape. And then even if I um, have other tools available to me, once I hit escape, I'll be able to get to those other tools as well. So that's it. It's a quick one today. I hope it helps. As always, be sure and like this video if you like this tip. And if it was a great tip for you, please leave a comment. I love to hear your feedback. If you'd like to get AHA tips delivered directly to your inbox, then be sure to subscribe to my newsletter or to this channel. Thanks again for watching. I hope it helps.